I got a real big issue with our justice system. It's like they're all a bunch of lying lawyers that are out to protect the integrity of, uh, of their colleagues' lives instead of the integrity of the law-abiding citizen and the integrity of court and uh, 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 the integrity of, of the rules of court and the boundaries of law. And, uh, you know, it's just like what, uh, it's like they're making a mistake. It's like they're refusing to correct the error. So it's like JFK said back in 1961, an error doesn't become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. An error doesn't become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. An error doesn't become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. Justice Minister and Attorney General of Alberta, Alison Redfern, is doing a government cover-up. And I want your help to uh, help me undo this cover-up. I need public support. Alison Redfern is ploying to cover up for judicial fraud for three judges on the Court of Appeal of Alberta. Welcome to Law Liars Lives, Alison Redford's cover-up of judicial fraud. Supreme Court of Canada, like I can't prove their fraud, but I can sure prove that the Court of Appeals of Alberta committed fraud in black and white. If you can please listen to me. Uh, today we're going to get into uh, the ju judicial fraud aspect of my uh, case, of why the law liar judges lied. I went all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada, to the top court in the land. And the thing is about the top court in the land, when they bring a judgment, when I make an application for leave to appeal, they can, you know, before you can even get to argue it, they got to actually decide if they're going to actually let you come and argue it. Then they either uh, grant, either you're granted to go there and argue it, or they dismiss it. But in my case, they're just going to dismiss it because in my appeal, I said that the uh, judges committed outright fraud. And there's no way that their uh, colleague law liars just protect the integrity of their, uh, of their colleagues' lives instead of the integrity of the uh, rules of court of Alberta. The Supreme Court of Canada, they don't even have to give you a reason to judgment like the Court of Appeals do. Ian Benny, Rosely Sibermanabella, and Lori Charon just dismissed my case outright because they're they're a pack of law liars that are trying to protect the integrity of their of their legal system, which is not a system of justice. It's just a system to protect the integrity of the law liars' lies instead instead of protecting the integrity of the rules of court and the boundaries of law. I want to show you the pictures of these. Uh, of the smug and condescending law liars from the Supreme Court. They can be more smug and condescending -er than the appeals court judges and the appeals court judges were smug and condescending and they committed outright fraud. Now let's get into the uh, the lies of the appeals court judges uh, which is uh, Carol Conrad, Peter Martin, Alexander Park. They, uh, they brought up some lies uh, if uh, you know, I'm going to take you through the, the, the three page, uh, or it's three pages, which basically the judgment's on, on, on one page and one sentence long, and that was about it. But the thing is, there's so many untruths there. Not even half truths, it's just a total outright lie. If anybody wants to listen to this video, and they're to, you know, read my judge, you know, read the judgment and look at the appeal book, it's like, well, they brought up so many things. So many things not taken from the appeal books, not taken from my volume one, my uh, my pleadings and final document documents. They never had anything taken from my uh, from from the evidence, the transcript uh, from uh, trial, and they never had anything taken. They never took it from the exhibits, or they never actually took it from my factum, my seven-page factum. They brought up, you know, they said things that we were never there or never existed. I want uh, Alison Redfern who is actually just trying to cover up for a because she's a law liar too and she's an elected law liar. That's uh, that's the Justice Minister of Alberta. And of course she wants to protect her law liar's lies because uh, that those are her colleagues. But before we get into the seven page factum we're going to go into the judgment and I'm going to show you what's different about the judgment. I want Alison Redfern to, 
to uh, instruct, to request the Canadian Judicial Council to do a judicial inquiry. I want those judges to show in the inquiry, well, where did you come up with this in the appeal books? How did you find that? What constitutes this? But the thing is, they're from the Law Liar Society, and the Law Liar Society is all about, well, we have to, const this, all, this constitutes a lie because we're law liars, and we have to protect the integrity of the, co of the law liars' lies and instead of the integrity of the law-abiding citizen and the rules of court and the boundaries of law. So, let's proceed with uh, the judgment. The, in the next video, is going to be all about the uh, law liars' lies. That, that's why I'm, I wasn't granted my appeal, because there is a whole paper trail of law liars lies a whole slew of paper trails of law liars lies like Kathleen Linton saying that uh, I have no basis for you know because I was ambushed and justice uh, because Justice Honor deprived me of sections uh, 28 1 and 28 2 of the Canada Evidence Act and I should also uh, I also should have not been deprived of section 6 1 and 6 2 of the Canada Evidence Act because I have a difference. I have a difference because I have memory problems, because I have brain damage caused by MS. And my last MRI scan showed lesions all the way deep down into my brain. And I can't, if I'm well versed on something, I will do very good at it, but when I'm confronted by an ambush, I cannot deal, I can't deal with something suddenly because I need it to be filed into my long-term memory. Something my short-term memory, I just do not so do that good against it. And that's why Karen Horner and Rhonda Sales ambushed me. So let's get on with uh, with the judgment. I'm going to show you what's wrong, what's different in my appeal books, mainly the factum. The Memorandum of Judgment by the court three panel judges of the Court of Appeals of Alberta. Justice Carol Martin, or Carol Conrad, Peter Martin, Alexander Park, that was a fraudulent judgment with uh, so many things based on fiction that did not come from the appeal books, did not come from in, any of the appeal material that I produced. Material Only I did. So they can only take the facts from my appeal books, which was all the facts that was from the trial. Uh, they can only take it from my uh, factums the three volumes of my appeal books and they did not this is the uh, the first page of the uh, of their memorandum of judgment let's uh, it's five paragraphs long so let's get into the uh, first three paragraphs uh, that's uh, this is uh, paragraph one two and three so let's read it and uh, all, all the lies are underlined in red so you see that there's four lies there but let's read on from the first uh, it says Mr. Ackman appeals a matrimonial property order. He submits he was prevented from adducing material evidence and that he was taken by surprise by evidence produced at trial. With the, with the result, he was denied the proper opportunity to prepare and meet his case against him. Moreover, Mr. Ackman says the judgment is, is unreasonable and should be set aside. Both parties represented themselves.